What's going on everybody? Julian here from J. Lewis Trading. One minute recap of what I was personally trading today. I'm going to start off with Apple. This is a pretty interesting day. And uh, you can see that Apple's been sort of stepping up, consolidates through this area. We get sort of almost like a triple top. So we get resistance all the way through here. Price action then pushes down in pre-market. And uh, what I was initially looking for was I was looking for this level to break down. Now this is what I would refer to as a bit of a technical trap. And what I mean is you can see that that support level that's structured out Test, 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 especially in the cash market. There were traders that were getting caught in here and I was waiting for confirmation and a retest of that level to break out. So this is what I actually sort of was looking at as a potential breakdown because we're below the 200 and the VWAP. Uh, but then I started to look at maybe, okay, well, we've got this consolidative state. What happens if that level breaks long? And essentially what I did was price action started to sort of build itself above the VWAP. We got this massive tick right through the top of that range. And this is where I started to get in with some weekly calls. Uh, now the target here was that 200 day simple moving average. It started to consolidate. And this pin bar actually triggered me to get out of the trade. So I said, you know what, I'm done for the day, but I completely lied. What I was also looking at was TWOU. Uh, and this was something that I'd been watching into the, uh, the market. And as I was stepping out of that Apple trade, you can see that this had already flushed and it started to build this support level right through here. So when this support level was building, I started to watch the tape and I was looking for some prints that was coming in below that 1058 level. As soon as it did, I jumped in with, um, with puts on this one and I shorted this one. And on the Apple trade, I got 50% um, return on the calls. And then on this, <coughs> before commissions, I think I was up about 35%. Uh, on these puts. Now here's the thing, the entire put position that I put on on TWOU was completely risk free because I used the gains from the Apple trade. So essentially what I did today was I put at risk capital on, I made a return on the Apple calls, I took what I made from the Apple calls and I rolled them over into a TWOU2U Inc. Uh, short and this was completely 100% risk free, compounded the, uh, the profits for the day. And that's uh, essentially what we did.